नमस्कार माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर एम एन नागेंद्र प्रसाद प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी जेस साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी वुड लाइक टू प्रेजेंट अ शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक माइक्रोब्स एज लिविंग फैक्ट्रीज बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज द यूज ऑफ बायोलॉजी टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स एंड टू मेक प्रोडक्ट्स यूजफुल टू मैन काइंड द मैजिक वैंड ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग विच एनेबल्स साइंटिस्ट टू टेलर एन ऑर्गेनिजम्स जेनेटिक मटीरियल फॉर ह्यूमन वेलफेयर among various organisms that exist microbes the tiny creatures have been genetically tailored using genetic engineering to produce a plethora of proteins and macromolecules thereby converting them as living factories human body functions optimally only when thousands of peptides and proteins like hormones lymphokines enzymes immunological agents are produced in precisely regulated amounts and whenever there is a short supply it leads to serious consequences conventionally the short supply is tried meeting through animal systems like porcine and bovine protein produced thus have various limitations like immunological rejections variations in their functioning cumbersome process of extraction and also being prohibitively expensive microbes and genetic engineering have become an exciting and safer option negating all the above limitations animal bodies pose the use of organisms in biotechnology has led to fascinating subject area the umbrella of microbial biotechnology encompasses many scientific activities ranging from production of recombinant human hormones to that of production of microbial insecticides from bioleaching to bioremediation of toxic waste making tiny microorganisms to work like a living factory among the various horizons microbial biotechnology touches upon like agriculture wastewater treatment hazardous waste management production of feedstock chemicals so on human therapeutics is where we see a plethora of applications arguably the most dramatic and immediate impact of genetic engineering and microbial biotechnology was the large scale production of proteins which are encoded by human genes the first commercial product of the technology is human insulin produced in bacteria approved for its clinical use in 1982 diabetes is a major lifestyle disease that human race is facing today with 17% of world's diabetic patients india is moving towards becoming the diabetic capital of the world Diabetes is a condition where body fails to take up glucose into its cell for using it for energy but rather builds up extra glucose in its blood stream. Mismanagement of this condition can lead to serious consequences damaging vital organs of the body like heart, kidney, eyes and nerves. Diabetic neuropathy, diabetic retinopathy and diabetic nephropathy are the major complications of mismanaged diabetic condition insulin is a vital hormone produced by islets of langerhans of pancreas which when released into blood stream unlocks the cell wall of the cell allowing glucose to enter into body cells there are two types of diabetes type 1 and type 2 ills with type 1 diabetes do not produce insulin or produce insufficient amount of insulin In contrast, individuals with type 2 make insufficient amount of insulin or they do not respond to the produced insulin. As expressed before, conventional production of human proteins from animals including insulin has lot of limitations and it's an expensive cumbersome process. In the quest for searching an alternative and safer option, in 1982 Insulin expressed from human insulin genes which were inserted into bacteria Escherichia coli using plasmids and recombinant DNA technology became the first genetically engineered therapeutic agent to be approved for clinical use in humans. Human insulin is now widely used in management of diabetes. Biocon, the pharma giant, produces human insulin using yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae and are amongst the world's largest producers of human insulin. Though 
The journey started with insulin in 1982. At present, an array of human proteins are cloned and successfully produced in microbes like Escherichia coli, like that of calcitonin, colony stimulating factor, epidermal growth factor, interferons, interleukins, tumor necrosis factor, so on, making microorganisms to work like a living factory with the high envisaged therapeutic use, thereby finding solutions for a lot of diseases and disorders which otherwise was thought untreatable. Finally, I would like to end this short video lecture with a quote from Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, which is also so apt with present-day human insulin as an inherent part of most diabetic patients. I quote, The advance of technology is based on making it fit in so that you don't really even notice it. So, it's a part of everyday life. I unquote. Thank you.